hello friends today we are going to learn origin pro 8 to test the significance of variance uh, or we we will say it is analysis of molecular variance which is MOVA so friends let's straight away dive into the topic first of all you have to download origin pro 8 which is the software that we will be using for the today's video then you have to set up the software then next step we will see how to feed in the data okay and finally we will see how to test the significance of variance so let's see friends when you will download the uh, software and install it then for the first time you will open it it will sh show something like this so what you have to do is you have to just maximize this and you can add more columns here as per your requirements from this point okay add new column just click in here and you will have more columns to work with okay. now friends what I will do is I will take you through a live demo how to uh, feed in data plus uh, how to uh, analyze the variance okay so in here you put your experiments whatever experiment you have suppose this is experiment number one two three four five we will test five different experiments okay for now so you can add maximum of 10 experiment and one thing i want to tell you is in this software you can compare at least 10 different experiments in one go so keep that in mind so what we will do is for experiment one you have different replicates so you put in your replicates here whatever replicates you may you may have as many replicates you can okay so suppose we have first replicate that was giving us 32 percent response suppose okay this is just a demo 32 then 23 30 so here you might get um, 45 experiment 2 these are the replicates here the whole column will have different replicates 32 6 58 so you will have 70 75 64 um, 22 22 24 35 yeah, 88 92 83 so these are what these are suppose your replicates okay these are your replicates so you can have as many replicates you want to have as per your experimental setup and here these are your experiments that you are conducting different types of experiments so next what we have to do is we have to go we have to select this data all the data that you want to compare and go to statistics go to ANOVA go to open dialog then you change this index to raw done now here you can see number of levels is 2 that means the software is now taking into account only 2 columns ok first 2 columns now you have to change it to 5 since you have how many columns 5 columns 1 2 3 4 5 5 columns you have so you have changed to five now you have to assign the columns okay level one level one you will assign column number a this one b c d and e so you have assigned column names to different levels okay done 
now you can test different types of significance you can have so many tests but as per your experiment or your analysis you will select any one of this or any two of this no problem but for today's demo what we will do is we'll test two keys test okay keep this significance level as per your requirement we are keeping it in 0 0.05 done so we'll press ok here so now your results has come so for paper or uh, your um, table making you need this value mean value and standard error of mean value so whatever mean value you have you have to put in then standard error plus minus standard error of mean now how will we make this a table okay we will go to excel sheet first we will copy this mean value this is just to make copy thing easier okay control c control v so if you want to remove the decimal points you just have to click this you want to keep two decimal points then it's fine so next is standard error of mean control c paste in here control v done change the decimal points you want to keep one decimal point just click in here done so this thing you have to copy control c and open a microsoft word control v so this came up okay so now select this go to design go to table formation done you add it insert plus minus it came up copy paste control c and control v just drag it here this are the things that i do for making the things much easier so i'm recommending you you can do whatever you feel like but this is just the way i do okay now now to make the table we had five different experiments right so we had experiment number one two three four five and this were the results okay see control v here oh man so here we have found you can delete it now that experiment one gave us mean value of 28.33 and standard error of mean of 2.7 so what we have basically done till here is we have just copied this table and made a table as the way we want to show it in a paper or a presentation okay done now what do you need to do is we need to assign the significance level how these experiments are linked to each other or how one experiment is significantly different or significantly same to each other so for that what we need to do now the crucial bit comes in so for this first of all what you have to do is you have to check in from this table which has got the maximum standard deviation suppose here we can see that b has got maximum standard deviation so we will assign b was level 2 remember a was level 1 b was level 2 3 4 5 okay so b means level 2 done so level 2 standard deviation is maximum so what we will do is we will assign level 2 an alphabet with what is a done now this is the crucial bit 
we have to go to means comparison just remember let b has got maximum standard deviation okay mean comparison go to tukey's test and you will find this table okay so now again level 2 we have already assigned a number uh, or alphabet a now we have to see how level 2 and 1 is connected level 2 and 1 is zero that means level and 2 level 2 and 1 is same you can read it from here significant equals zero indicates that the mean difference is not significant at the 0 0.05 level they are not significant that means they are same two and one is same since you have given two a one is also same done level three and one is different level three and one is different level 3 and 2 is also different so you assign some another letter just put in b now you see level 3 and 1 is different level 3 and 2 is also different one represent different difference okay that that means they these two are significant to each other different to each other for your convenience just remember if the significance level is zero that means we have to put in same alphabet if the significance level is one we have to put in different alphabets done simple as that so now we will go to the other one how level four and one is connected we have to check with each experiments okay each levels so four and one is same okay done 4 and 1 is same that means we have to put a how 4 and 2 is connected they are same done a we have already put how 4 and 3 is connected 4 and 3 is different okay it is showing different b done here we have got a here we have got b they are different okay done now let's go to level 5 and 1 how level 5 and 1 is connected they are different okay now we'll need to check we need to check level 5 and 2 they are different level 5 and 3 they are same okay level 5 and 3 they are same that means we will assign b here level 5 and 3 becomes same right level 5 and 4 is different level 5 and 4 is different okay a and b they are different so this way you have to assign these alphabets sometimes what happens is you will find level 5 and 4 is different but level 5 and a is same so what you do level 5 and 4 is different right here but level 5 and 4 is now level 5 and 1 is same so what you do is you put a here then it becomes same with level a but level 5 and 4 is different they are saying level 5 and 4 is different you cannot put a here then you have to put since a is already there it will become similar to 4 again so what you do is you put another letter c so that it doesn't match with level 4 again remember what we said we said that level 4 and 5 is different but level 5 and 1 is same but if you put a here it becomes similar to 4 again does it make sense so we have to put another letter here 5 and 4 to make it different c okay but 5 and 1 is again same so what we do is 5 and 1 will put same letter again so c or you can put in here b also no problem whatever makes sense to you but the statement has to be fulfilled whatever from this table we get the statement it has to be fulfilled if you are putting another letter that means it should not be matching with some other levels okay so that is it for today guys if you like the video please share with your friends and give a thumbs up 
If you are new to the channel, subscribe the channel for more such videos. We will meet you in the next video. Thank you so much.